Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So you're gonna be watching my nighttime routine and what my most of my evenings are like. I have to leave in a little bit in about 30 minutes, but I'm gonna be making dinner and I'm gonna show you what I'll have. So come tag along with me if you wanna see what my night looks like. Just look at my dinner. Ooh, it's so good. So we made some steak. And I sauteed some bell peppers and onions. You guys, I love bell peppers and onions. Just adds so much flavor to like anything. There's some refried, refried black beans. I put a little too much, so I'm not gonna eat all of that. A little bit of rice and some spinach. It's funny because lately I've been getting more comments about like the way I eat spinach. And apparently people don't like to eat it raw. Yeah, like I was saying, so a lot of people, or not a lot of people, but a few people have been telling me like, girl, like, I don't know how you eat spinach like that. Like, I have to cook it, saute it, or like, whatever. And I'm like, really? Like, I prefer it raw. I don't like it. Well, I mean, I guess if it's seasoned properly, but even then, I mean, I just don't like that idea because then it's like, I'm adding seasoning to vegetable. Like, I feel like that's just adding more sodium to my meals and I just don't want that so and same thing with like my other vegetables like carrots broccoli I eat it raw or steaming is fine but I don't boil it because it comes out kind of weird I don't know y'all can let me know in the comments how you eat your veggies <laughs> at this point I'm at the gym training my client and I'm letting him know that this is lightweight baby weight he cannot be scared he cannot be intimidated i'm just kidding no but for real he was doing really good though so he was bench pressing he had taken a pause and these are his last two reps and he did pretty good i just helped him a little bit right here because he was really struggling and i didn't want it to fall on his chest but <laughs> he did really good and then i have my last clients for the night right here so they were also doing presses but they were doing chest presses with dumbbells and they've been doing a really good job I love training my clients. They're just doing so good. And I'm over here being like a proud parent. Like, you recording them? Yes. They're doing amazing. <laughs> All right, guys. So I just got home right now. The first thing that I usually do is wash my hands, which I just did because I have to take off my contacts. Take them off right now. I don't know if you guys want to see, but I know some people get grossed out. But I just, like, take it out like that. Some people can, like... Like, literally take it out without, like, flinching. I can't. I'm, like, I'm, like, <laughs> doing all of that. I can't do that. I don't know how people do that. But, yeah. So, I use this little contact solution. Kind of rub it around my hand a little bit. Kind of clean it. And then I just put it in right here in my little case. So, this is my case. Comment below if you wear contacts or glasses. Comment if you're blind, basically. <laughs> I started wearing glasses in 2016. Started wearing contacts, I believe 2019. We got our pajamas on. I got on Savage X Fancy. Okay, we got on the onesie. This I love onesies, you guys, especially in the winter. Super cute and comfortable. I love the little gold zipper on it. Adds a little flair. Adds a little something to it. I see it. Super cute. You guys, look at this hoodie. <laughs> look how big it is. Like, I have to, like, lift it just so you can see my face. You want to know who I look like? Look, look, look. You have failed this city. <laughs> Murder Queen, you have failed this city. Comment below if you know who that is. In case you couldn't figure it out, it's The Arrow. There's a show called The Arrow. Um, or I don't know if they're still going. No, I think it ended. But yeah. <laughs> and he's ready for bed. Who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? There you are. You just want to be rubbed. You see? Yeah, look at him. Leg up and everything. <laughs> All right guys, so now we're here in the bathroom. I have to wash my face and brush my teeth and get ready for bed. So I gotta put my headband on. So if you saw my morning routine, you saw that. I use this. I also use this in my morning routine when I wash my face in the morning. So this is what I use. Vanity cream. It's honestly one of the only facial cleansers that has not made me break out. So I usually put like a little bit of water on my face. And just like a good, like one pump, I just put it everywhere. 
all over my face. Oh, and my neck too. Because if you saw my morning routine, I put on like sunscreen and everything on my face and neck. So I gotta wash all that off. So I just like to leave this on for like 40 seconds to a minute. Let it marinate into my skin. Take off all the oils. I was gonna say makeup. I don't have makeup on, but take off the oils, do a little debris, dust, anything on my face, take it off. All right, it's been a minute now, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash the cleanser off. Do you guys hear that noise? That noise scared me right now. Water is dripping on this side. There's an empty toilet paper roll there. And that's what's making the noise. Did you guys see my face? I was like... I was about to pray right now. Like... Look guys, my headband matches my little leopard slippers. It's so cute. My mom and my brother actually got me those two for Christmas. Now we're gonna go into the night creams that I use. So we're gonna start off with this one. The yeah, there you go. Yeah, number seven, Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Night Cream. So I use this one every night, um, or at least almost every night. There are nights where like, you know, I don't know, I'm just tired and I just don't feel like putting it on. But most nights though, I do put this on. So I just grab a little bit, start putting it like certain areas, just kind of like everywhere. Again, don't forget the neck. In the morning routine, I was saying like, you do not want to forget your neck, okay? Don't just put it on your face. I hope you guys had a great day today. I had a pretty good day, actually. I had a great day. I had a few clients in the morning. I worked out. Today I did back and biceps and cardio. And, oh, by the way, I'm doing this in like upwards motion. So I'm trying to like lift my face a little bit with my knuckles. So I just like apply the night cream like this. The neck too, I try to go up. Upwards motions. I showered, ate lunch. Um, I was editing a video. So just like stuff like that. And then... I went back to the gym because I had clients, so I went back at 4. I got there at 4, and I got here at 9, what, like 9.30. My clients were killing it in the gym. They were putting in that work. Yeah, they were putting in that work, but <laughs> no, but for real, they were doing really good. But yeah, overall, my day was great. So here's the next product that I use. So I use retinol. Number 7. Vance Retinol Complex. So on this one, it says 1.5%. But on the box, it says that the actual percentage of pure retinol is only 0.3. So retinol increases your skin cell production. So like what I was saying, like um, newer skin cells will form. Uh, it helps unclog pores, helps exfoliate your skin, and increases collagen production. Um, which can reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, give your skin a fresher, plump appearance, and brighten your skin a little bit too. But it is really strong, so you do not want to use retinol every night. I use retinol four times a week. However, it took a while to get there though, like when I first started using retinol, which was like, I don't know, maybe like, what, September of last year or something. By the way, two pumps. One... Two, that's it. That's what it said on the box. And I started off with like once a week because like I said, I have sensitive skin. So I was just, I did not want to break out or anything or like have something happen. Um, so I was doing it very gradually. And then eventually I increased it to two times per week and then three. And then now I'm at four, but I think I'm going to keep it at four. I'm not going to do more than that. Um, or who knows, maybe four is too much. I'm not sure. I do see a difference with the retinol though. Like my skin definitely looks brighter. Um, I mean, just pretty much with the what is said on Google, like I do feel like, not that, I'm only 22, so it's not like I have wrinkles, but like I do feel like it looks more firm. Like, I highly recommend it. If you're ever thinking about getting retinol, you should. 
again, I mean, I do want to also say, like, I feel like there's a lot of pressure on people, but, like, especially women to, like, look, make sure you look your best at a certain mm-hmm. age and all that. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I get it. Like, you don't want to, like, have... Like, you don't want to have, like, really bad skin or to the point where it's like, damn, like, did you even ever take care of your skin? Like, I get that, you know? I don't want that. But at the same time, I don't want this to be, like, a, oh, my gosh, like, do this so that you don't get wrinkles. Like, no. I mean, we're all going to get wrinkles. I'm going to get wrinkles. Like, we're all going to grow old into a little raisin, all right? <laughs> um, and that's just life. That's part of life. So I'm not saying that's bad or anything. You no, know, and overall, I just want... To take care of my skin, you know, I feel like it also makes me feel good, makes me feel confident in myself, like knowing that like I take care of myself and just take care of my body too. I mean, I'm all about fitness and always talking about take care of yourselves, take care of your body, nourish your body properly. Well, I mean, skincare is the same thing, you know, taking care of your skin. Your skin is part of your body, putting the right creams and sunscreen to protect yourself from the UV rays and all that stuff. I mean, it's important, you know, it's important to wash your face. You know, there's a lot of dirt accumulation going on. You need to make sure you're washing your face. Um, so, yeah, overall, I think it's just another way of self-care. And, yeah, I totally forgot to show you guys this. So, next and the last step uh, for this nighttime skincare routine is eye cream. Same thing, same brand, number seven. If you guys can read that. Sorry, I know there's like a glare there. But um yeah, lift and illuminate triple action night with that eye cream. We can't talk eye cream. So lift and illuminate, lift and illuminate. They have another one where it's like restore renew, and then the eye cream, same thing, restore renew. So I just put a little bit on my finger to put on my eyes. Now the skin around your eyes is thinner and it's more sensitive. So same thing like how I said with you know patting your face with the towel. You want to pat or dab. You don't want to rub it into your eyes. You need to pat it. So I do this. Pat it all around my eyelids, underneath, right here, and then on top where my eyelids are. I also always drink about one glass of water before going to bed. So this is my face after all the night creams and the retinol and all that. Let's go ahead and take this off. But that's pretty much it, you guys. That's my nighttime routine. And now I'm <laughs> ready for bed. So it's 10.50 right now. Honestly, I try to be in bed by 10.30. So I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. That way you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. That way you don't miss out. Okay? Don't miss out. Just, just just turn on the post notifications. Let's just do it. Please. Thank you. But yeah. <laughs> so stay tuned for my next video. Bye.